Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Asli Turiani. I'm a student of University di Ponegoro. In this time, I will present you a journal from Food Science and Technology with the title Lipid and Protein Extraction from Edible Insects, specifically crickets, by Rasmi Fadevalu Amarander, Kanika Bargava, Aron Cidose, and Sanjewa Garmagedara. Hope you enjoy it! Okay, what are the nutrients of insect? The first one is protein. From a nutritional standpoint, insect have significant protein content ranging from 20 to 75%. And the second is fat. Fat content variability ranges from 8 to 50%. According to the World Health Organization or WHO, edible insect overall meet the requirements for amino acid with high values for phenylalanine, tyrosine, tritopan, lysine, and tereonine. Specifically, species from the other Otoptera, like crickets, are a good source of protein and signify a valuable protein alternative. Most edible insects provide adequate amounts of essential amino acid required for the human body. What is lipid and protein extraction? Lipid and protein extraction is a method to increase protein content and reduce fat content from insects that are beneficial for humans. In this research, crickets were processed naturally. Whole crickets are grown, pasteurized, and dried until it became a cricket powder. The nutritional contents of cricket powder in this research, proximate analysis of whole cricket powder was studied and contains 63.43% protein, 20.86% fat, 4.65% S, 7.56% carbohydrate, and 472 kilocalorie for 100 gram cricket powder. Materials and methods Finely milled whole cricket powder was the best material. Ethanol and hexane were used for lipid extraction. Aqueous sodium hydroxide were used for protein extraction. Rotary evaporation was used for removal of solvent from the fat fraction of the lipid extract sample. The insoluble solid pearl fraction of the sample were exposed to the stream of nitrogen gas to dry to a powder form. Vortex and centrifuge were used for carrying out the protein extraction. Lipid and protein extraction has three steps. The first step is proximate analysis, and the second step is lipid extraction procedure, and the third step is protein extraction. The first step is proximate analysis. Proximate analysis was carried out for finely milled whole cricket powder. Lipid extracted cricket powder and protein extracted cricket powder. The various analysis included moisture by vacuum oven, protein combustion, as fed by acid hydrolysis, carbohydrates, and calories. Okay, the second step is lipid extraction procedure. Ethanol, 99.5% and hexane, 100% was used for lipid extraction purpose. 5 to 1, matra ratio was used which indicates 5 ml solvent to 1 gram of powder were used. The solution was for tax or second for 15 minutes and then centrifuge at 4,800 RPM for 10 minutes. The last process is protein extraction. The lipid extracted cricket powder obtained through ethanol was used. For this study protocol, the protein was extracted using 0.5 molar aqueous natrium hydroxide and acidic medium. The solvents were added to the lipid extracted cricket powder in the ratio of 6 to 1 ml of solution. The tubes were vortex and then centrifuge at 4 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. The supernatan and gel layer were decanted and kept aside. 
The second extraction was carried out on the solid isoluble pellet. Vortex centrifuge and the pellet was frozen overnight at minus 20 degrees Celsius and freeze dried to obtain a final protein extract with moisture content less than 5%. Proximate analysis of protein powder was performed according to AOAC. Finally, the extraction yield and extraction rate of protein were calculated. In Table 1, we can see flash-free ground cricket powder has 4.60% as 7.55% carbohydrate, 3.50% moisture, 472 calories, 20.86% fat, and 63.43% protein. Table 2. In this table, proximate analysis of lipid extracted cricket powder using ethanol and hexane respectively. The result is lipid extracted cricket powder using ethanol has 5.9% S, 7.25% carbohydrate, 4.7% moisture, 407.33 calories, 9.27% fat, and 73.72% protein. And then, the second is lipid extracted cricket powder using hexane. It has 5.44% S, 6.88% carbohydrate, 3.6% moisture, 424 calories, 11.98% fat, and 72.08% protein. The second is protein extract using ascorbic acid. It has 3.55% S, 7.54% carbohydrate, 11.6% moisture, 378 calorie, 7.62% fat, and 69.69% protein. Okay. This is a yield table of extracted lipid and protein from cricket. We can see in table 1, it is proximate analysis of friendly clone cricket powder was carried out and the analysis are expressed as single measurements. Next, table 3. In this table, there are the results of proximate analysis of protein extraction using natrium hydroxide and ascorbic acid. Sample The first is protein extract using natrium hydroxide. It has 23% as 0.5% carbohydrate, 4.8% moisture, 367 calories, 13.34% fat, and 61.75% protein. Okay, next, table 4. In this table, there are the results of proximate analysis of fastly grown cricket protein extract using natrium hydroxide and ascorbic acid. Sample. First, freshly ground cricket protein extract using natrium hydroxide. It has 16.71% S, 1.36% carbohydrate, 3.5% moisture, 424 calorie, 20.64% fat, and 58.19% protein. Second sample is freshly grown cricket protein extract using adsorbic acid. It has 3.19% S, 8.33% carbohydrate, 4.6% moisture, 476 calorie. 
21.44% fat and 62.44% protein Next, table 6 It is extraction yield True protein content and extraction rate of protein from ethanol defeated cricket powder The first sample is defeated protein extract using ascorbic acid It has 69.69% true protein and 82.95% extraction rate of protein The second sample is defeated protein extract using natrium hydroxide it has 61.75% true protein and 67.66% extraction rate of protein. Next, table 5. In this table, there are the result of fat percentage in the lipid extracted cricket sample. The first is remaining fat percentage of cricket sample using hexane. It has 11.98% Second is remaining fat percentage of cricket sample using ethanol It has 9.27% Result and discussion First proximate analysis 1. Vanilla milk wool cricket powder had a protein content of 63.43% You can see in tabel 1 2. The fat percentage was found to be 20.86%, concluding that lipid extraction could have reduced the fat content in the cricket powder. 3. From the analysis in Table 3 and Table 4, we could conclude that extraction by asobi acid had a higher protein content of 69.69%, low fat of 7.62% and low S. Second is lipid extraction. Using hexane, fat can be extracted significantly, thus reducing the overall fat content from 20.86% to 11.98% by hexane and 9.27% by ethanol. You can see in table 5. The study suggests that ethanol could be good alternative for efficient removal of fat without lowering the protein content in lipid extracted insects and may be preferred in the food industry over hexane to tune the concern over chemical use in food. The last is protein extraction. The result is 1. The study indicates that sodium hydroxide precipitation generated a product with significantly lower protein content in comparison to the lower pH treatment. Therefore, the study can be described by the solubility of the cricket proteins that was found to be highly dependent on the pH during the extraction process. So, Protein yields were higher in the acidic region at pH 2 and 3, which may also explain why ascorbic acid had a higher yield than sodium hydroxide. The true protein content using ascorbic acid for extraction was found to be 69.69%, while sodium hydroxide was 61.75%. Therefore, due to the low pH of axobet, an increase in protein content was observed. Conclusion In conclusion, lipid extraction and protein precipitation were important for obtaining a high yield and pure protein content. Hexane and ethanol were used for extracting fat from cricket powder. Compared to hexane, ethanol is friendly solvent for the food industry. Ultimately, improved methods are needed to achieve a scalable insect protein extra product of greater than 90% protein content, no fat, and potentially with the thin fraction removed. Overall, the proximate analysis of cricket powder revealed that cricket is very good source of protein for food application, and it is beneficial for human body.
Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening my presentation. My own notes we have shared be beneficial for all of us. I apologize for all mistakes that I have made in this presentation. Wabilahi taufiq walidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.